have one uh, first of all share with you uh, our subject today uh, it's about uh, artificial kidney uh, model uh, by the use of uh, MATLAB Simulink uh, first of all open your MATLAB after you download your model uh, open MATLAB first and go to your destination folder from here this is my folder this for okay drive folder this is my working folder so I can seek my model folder from here okay and just click here so you will find your contents uh, click sort sort by name okay and a group by type in order to organize everything and you will find everything uh, uh, is contained here uh, with the references uh, documents and everything this is our main model uh, just double clicking okay okay this is our main model it's about artificial kidney process so uh, all we have to do is to uh, purify the blood of the patient uh, by the use of uh, a, a mechanical system and a membrane it's a membrane for uh, uh, in order to simulate uh, the kidney of uh, the patient uh, it's a circular process within two hours, one hour, uh, uh, one and a half hour. It's up to 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 the uh, doctor uh, uh, diagnostics. So we all we have to do is to uh, be sure that the blood is uh, uh, moving uh, forward and back for and backward uh, in uh, a circular uh, process. Just double clicking here, we have to, as you can see here, this is our process, main process. This is our kidney. We have a dirty blood. We need to uh, purify the blood from uh, the urine and residuals uh, in order to uh, produce a clean blood for uh, the patient, patient within a, a limited time range. Okay, so we have to uh, simulate the kidney and giving it as an electrical signal order to um, do such uh, process. We have to go inside. As you can see here, we have here uh, uh, our main model. This is your uh, uh, inputs and we have here uh, our outputs. And uh, this is your simulation time. What is the time that the patient uh, should be uh, uh, in such a process, under uh, such a process, in order to purify his uh, blood? Uh, just double clicking here, you will find your, uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm sorry, uh, these are your inputs, these are your outputs, and this is your uh, process. Double clicking, as you can see here, square brackets are your outputs this is your function name and we have here uh, our uh, inputs we need to uh, calculate the license okay based on uh, uh, reference uh, uh, correlations uh, clearance which is also based on uh, blood uh, flow rate and this is membrane type this is your membrane type and um, uh, outlet uh, concentration of the blood, okay, based on blood flow rate and dialysate, uh, dialysate uh, uh, concentration inlet and blood concentration inlet. And so we have to go through uh, such equation in order to calculate the new blood concentration. This is your blood concentration, which should be uh, in, in recirculate or attrition process in order to, uh, within a limited time, sure. Okay, so this is our blood concentration, the new blood concentration, which is uh, be signaled again to be an input within a limited time. Okay, all we have to do is to set our input, but before to do this, we can save our, our results in MATLAB workspace. You can be sure that you uh, send a signal to data inspector okay as you can see this is a small squid here should be appeared and just click here on uh, uh, model pro again this is your model browser uh, okay click here and go into this uh, process uh, you have to show that you sent all parameters to MATLAB workspace as you can see here uh, we have uh, all parameters 
in the parameters out the parameters should be saved you have to check this save final value to uh, base workspace okay okay so suppose i need a, 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 a blob uh, within uh, you can control your uh, parameter by moving your cursor as you can see here suppose i have uh, 200 and this is the reset the flow rate blood pressure suppose it's uh, 70 apply okay I, I, I will uh, remove uh, all runs from here so I, I need to remove all this okay delete all because I, I intended to make a new runs okay and uh, we have this is membrane material okay KOO parameter KOA parameter so this is a membrane material so you can control it from here as you can see here okay it can control the material of uh, of the purification process okay blood volume let's begin from five hit apply okay you can type double clicking and type the value or you can move uh, the slider uh, based on your uh, configuration don't forget this is normal value for um, uh, this is a normal value for any human uh, being it's uh, 25 kilogram your regeneration rate per day so I, I will keep this constant I'll keep this constant as you can see here okay so I adjust my uh, limitations my inputs and my ranges and this is my time simulation time within two hours suppose the patients uh, need uh, patient need uh, two hours and hit run and see your results you can see it uh, immediately here okay as you can see here uh, uh, there is a drawback or uh, significant in decrease in uh, concentration of urine uh, results and you can find your results here okay suppose i need to let's go inside here and draw some results from data inspector okay this is blood flow rate because it's constant okay and uh, this is G guf okay I, I i can't remember what is guf i think it's uh, yes it's mass flux associated with uh, uh, ultra filtration okay let's go here again and uh, uh, blood concentration outlet blood concentration inlet the new one okay and there is it uh, outlet concentration uh, mass flow rate let's let's dialysis it you can use dialysis it okay closing and uh, let's go here and make another run with different this is total mass of urea uh, in the in your blood total mass of urea in, in, in milligrams okay suppose i need to increase or uh, change make some changes i will increase the blood flow rate suppose i have to uh, 300 for example and let's incre uh, increase uh, the flux or the membrane time let's increase it okay and saving i will keep the pressure uh, at the same values and hit run again okay let's go inside here let's go inside and see the effect of changing the blood flow rate on uh, my parameters okay there is a significant change uh, cb cb out okay uh, cb in uh, remaining constant cd out dialysis concentration slightly changed uh, urea flow rate no significant change dialysis I think there is a huge difference okay let's make another run with uh, suppose I have to uh, change dialysis uh, to uh, for example 187 okay and uh, uh, flow rate of the uh, uh, volume of the blood let it be several liters and saving and hit another run okay you can realize the changes here also you can find uh, this is your uh, drag and drop and click enter you'll find your values here as i as we mentioned before okay so you can deal with let's go inside and compare another run 
okay we have here uh, a GUF okay significant change blood concentration outlet blood concentration elite because we changes the blood volume dialysis outlet residual uh, and urea concentration and we have here uh, dialysis you can send your result to a figure see, clicking here sending it to a figure so you can deal with you can remove you can add, you can edit you can change the line width you can change the color you can add caption by uh, clicking on uh, tools or that or uh, plot inspector or properties okay so you can change your result from here you can change uh, x this is your time with respect to the time uh, and you can uh, compare your results uh, you can you can depend you fix the time surely you can fix the time you can uh, compare result based on another parameter but the use of uh, data inspector it's another work finally i would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model don't forget to like uh, share uh, and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much